So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out. And today's video is about Cheltenham Festival Day 2 Tips. So Joe, the second day on the Wednesday of the Cheltenham Festival, who is your fancy in the first race? So the first race, um, thankfully, Ballyburn does go for this race. Um, so that that was my best bet uh, heading into the festival. I got three to one on him to win this race. He's now four to seven favourite. I do think that'll ease a bit uh, on the day. I think that's a, probably a bit too short, four to seven. Uh, they're sort of taking no chances because he's been a real hype horse in the lead up. Um, I've always thought of, thought of him as a stayer. Uh, he's in the right race. Um, I think it's quite simple. I think he wins. Uh, from an each way perspective, I thought Predators Gold uh, was quite a big price, around 11 to 1. Um, it beat Mossy, Mossy Fen Park on Hurdles debut, and then it was second to Caldwell Potter, and then it ran well again. It was second to Dancing City at the Dublin Racing Festival. I think it's got more to come. So, from an each way bet, uh, Predators Gold. Sounds good. And then, what about the second race, the Brown Advisory Novices Chase? Who are you fancying in that race? So this race, again, you've got Factor File, who's a really uh, warm order. Um, I do think this is the best horse in the race. I mean, one little niggle was at Dublin um, when they were sort of going to crawl. It always took an extra step before the fence. Now, you wouldn't want to be doing that at Cheltenham because uh, you could sort of lose a length at every fence. But I do think that was because they weren't going quick enough. I think as soon as he picks up the pace, he jumped much better. I think they think so much of this horse. I think he should win. But I have had an each way bet in the race. I did it earlier in the week. Uh, Willie Twist and Davies uh, tweeted saying he was going to send Broadway Boy to this race. So I quickly went on to the, um, onto the straight market, not the non runner no bet market. And Broadway Boy was 25 to 1. So I had an each way bet on, on that horse. Um, it's now 10 to 1 for the race. I think there's only 11 runners. Um, so, yeah, I think the favourite will win and the favourite I'll be sticking in a multiple, but I've got Broadway Boy as a, as a sort of each-way each way fancy that hopefully will hit the frame. Sounds good. And then what about the third race, the Coral Cup? Yeah, so this race is wide open. Um, obviously, with these handicaps, the first thing I sort of do is look at the favourite and then try and oppose it and then see where the value is. I do think uh, Sam Majest is a worthy favourite in this. Um, it's, it's six to one now. I think this could even go shorter than that. Uh, this race is wide open, uh, so I wouldn't get carried away. But um, I do think the favourite's got a good chance. Uh, just two at bigger prices. Doddy the Great, uh, ten to one. I think it's got a good chance. But it's trained by Nicky Henderson. Um, the stable form is a big worry. Um, so that could, that could drift a bit on the day. But I do think that's got a good chance. And the other one was uh, Jigoro, and that's around twenty to one. Uh, that's definitely worth a second look, that one. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's quite a lot of bookies playing extra places, so it's quite a good race to do the um, the each-way bets on, on that one. Yeah. Um, the next race, the champion chase. Who are you fancying for that? Yeah, so, uh, again, El Fabiolo is going to be going in, in the ACA. Um I think this will pan out exactly as the betting suggests. I think El Fabiolo will beat John Bond. I think it will be by four or five lengths. I think this is going to be straightforward. I know there's question marks over his um, over his jumping, but to me, he never looks like falling to me. Um, I think he's getting better and better. I think he'll confirm the form with John Bond, and I think this will be straightforward. And then the next race is the Cross Country Chase. Who, who you fancying that on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival? Yeah, so the Cross Country, for me, um, the weather's going to play a big part in this. Um Obviously, I've, I'm against Manella Indo. I think it's too short. Um, then, you, then you're looking at sort of uh, Delta Work, who's obviously won this race before. I feel like Delta Work probably could do with a bit of rain. Um, if it dries out, it will bring Galvin into, into the picture. But the one that I'm going to take a chance on um, at present, so this could change with the weather and depending what happens, but I think Coco Beach could be quite a good play at 5-1. to one. Now, you might even get a bigger price than that because uh, Jack Kennedy will probably ride um, Delta Work. Uh, depend, well, I, I think he'll probably choose between Delta Work and Galvin. So, you're prob you know, I don't know who we're going to have on Cocoa Beach, but I think five to one, I think that's, that's the play in the race at the moment.
Yeah, I think if the ground does dry out, I quite fancy Galvin in that race, to be fair. But obviously, yeah. like you said, it all matters on, on the ground conditions. Yeah. So in the in the next race, the Grand Annual Chase looks quite wide open on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival. Who are you fancying in that? So this is another race where I'll really be looking at the trends. Um, I want to see the final field before I get stuck into this. Um, I mean, I've got a, I've got a little short list of three at the moment. This could change, but I thought Madara ten to one was quite appealing. Uh, Liberty Hunter ten to one is another one. Uh, now Liberty Hunter, you probably want a bit softer ground. Um, and then the other one that caught the eye was Unexpected Party at sixteen to one for Dan Skelton. Um, I think that's definitely got a squeak. Um, it might be more of a place bet that one, but I do think that could run well. But again. Uh, this I'll be waiting for the final field. I'll be waiting for the extra places, and I'll be waiting to see what the weather does. Sounds good. And then the last race on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival is the Champion Bumper. Is there anything you fancy in that race? Yeah. So me and you had a chat about this race a few weeks back. I said to you, I'm not mad on bumpers, um, so I'll probably just have a couple of each way plays. I, I quite like the Yellow Clay at eight to one. And the other one was Argento Boy at 14 to 1. I thought was that was quite big. But this is a race um, that I'd rather go and get a beer than have a bet in, to be honest. I've got a, a nice anti post bet on this one. I've got that Jasmine DeVoe, who's second favourite. Yeah. I've got him 25 to 1. So, oh, lovely. Prior to him last time out. So, the um, fingers crossed for that one. So, yeah, all, all viewers, what's your thoughts? Who, who do you think is the best chance of a winner on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival? Leave a comment with letting us know who you think um, are any good e each way outside the bets as well that you, you might think there's value on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival. Um, Joe's obviously give his at, at present. Obviously, it's all subject to change. Weather conditions can change everything. So stay, make sure you subscribe and, and get Joe's updated tips and predictions for his runners and riders on the second day of the Cheltenham Festival.